tiny campfire. And this is a horrific firestorm, they said. Why are all the trees still there? Yeah, all I can say is they don't recognize the organics, even though they're super hot. They seem to be much hotter than our regular wood fires, but for whatever reason, they're not recognizing organics. They turn everything brown, they suck the water out of it like it's in a microwave oven in your kitchen, leave them brown yeah. or light, a light shade of green, but it will not ignite them unless they're in close proximity to metals. Ow. It has to be in close proximity to your metals, whether they're ferrous or non-ferrous, like aluminum. Your creek beds around here in California, I've noticed, or water-loving trees have burned from the inside out. Yeah. Cooked, yeah. cooked like in a microwave. And these are willows, cottonwoods, alder, birch, maple, madrone. Not one leaf will be burned on them, even when the leaves are on the ground, but they'll cook from the inside out where the highest water holding capacity would be. Uh, pines and more flammable trees are doing the same, but at a slower rate, even though the sap in many pines is more combustible than the water lovers by far. The needles will be brown everywhere, but they're not burned up. White ash, where's the black, where's the carbon? So you're thinking intense heat. Well, why are all the trees still there? A palm tree is easy to light on fire. They burn up in a second. They're like grass, they're thin. They'll burn in seconds. Yet I look at them, they're kind of super wilted. They turn black. There's a black color to all these dead trees. If it doesn't ignite, these leaves just kind of wilt and turn dark colors. Uh, another anomaly, they should all have been gone. With this kind of heat, everything should have been gone. Should have been stumps of trees. That didn't happen. And it should be black, not white. That's right. Every house I've seen burn up, all of them have been bur burned to the ground, white ash. I have not seen much of any black anywhere. Everything else is completely gone. Yeah, the toilet, the, the fridge, the stove, yeah. which I've seen, you know, houses and, and the stove is there. It's the, it doesn't go to ash. That's right. Here. This is the giant banyan tree I've heard about. Here you have a fire all the way around it. Even the boats were on fire. After the fire, I see leaves everywhere and all the aerial roots coming down. They look kind of sagging and black, not necessarily burned up. And here's a wood pole to your left, whether it's a splint or there's, I think there's lights on it. It was so hot oh, it forgot yeah. to burn the wood. Dry, <laughs> dry yeah. wood. Dead trees I've noticed that are dead before the fires they're not burning. There's no moisture in them. Yes, the whole hood, it got so hot, the metal the metal hood melted out. That's pushing 2,750 degrees. Two fire captains I know of, they say they've never seen vehicles in their whole career like this. Uh, windows are never melted. They might break. They don't even sag. They break or shatter or fall out, but they don't melt. That's 2,500 degrees and, and up. They start to melt at 25. So what could do that? You don't have enough fuel in this Jeep. And I don't mean gasoline. I mean the fuels, the plastics, the seats, the cushions. All that isn't enough to get this kind of burn. <laughs> uh, I see dead trees, but a firestorm would have left sticks. There'd be no leaves on it. That's your fire, <laughs> the leaves, like in California. So all that they're clearing out. Now it has to go to the local dump somewhere. Follow them to the dumps. See what they're dumping. They're eliminating the evidence. Here's your trees in the background. No, it's the same old thing. We can prove that this is not natural. Then maybe the insurance companies will turn it over and they'll have to pay and, and we can change this. The garbage can and the wood to the left, whatever that wood was for, huh, didn't burn up. Where'd the fire come from to burn the house? It had to come through the forest. Now everybody knows about this. These mm -hmm. are the umbrellas. This is synthetics. I mean, if you got flying embers, where's the holes? And if they are flying, they're not the normal fires we know of that will burn synthetics. There's something else. So there's your palms, there's your synthetics. The building's gone, it's just metals. And these things didn't burn up. Nothing, I mean nothing added up. Um, when I see forest fires, the trees are burned up, the needles are gone, the twigs are gone, many of the branches are gone. Sometimes the trunk is burned down halfway or all the way to a low stump and even holes in the ground. That's the way they burn, no exception. They don't leave their needles on there. With their needles on there, how do we even call it a forest fire? The forest didn't burn. I saw this picture on the internet from a drone possibly, and I see these buildings, a jack-in-the-box, McDonald's, and a gas station. And they're just completely burned, leaving only metals and stone. But what I see is the trees. When you don't see the forest burn, but yet houses are, and some of these materials don't burn, what is going on here? 
and many of the fire captains and other workers have said, we've never seen fires like this, or the fires were so hot we couldn't even get close to them to put them out. And they were also very hard to put out. I believe most of these fires are microwave based. They're not normal wood fires that we know of. Many materials will not burn. The same stuff exactly that I've seen in California. No different, all the same uh, fire footprints. Things that don't make sense. Here, a home's on fire and nothing else. And I believe that's because of all the metals, whether they're ferrous or non-ferrous, that are in a house. These things get hit, they burn, and it's rare to see a tree burn or any plant unless it's in very close proximity to the house.